Every year, over 7 million students participate in high school sports, many of which face injury. Even though over the past 40 years the percentage of injuries in high school sports has decreased, many of those athletes still face common injuries such as sprains, strains, tears, and dislocations, many of which can be prevented. So throughout our season, uh, the most common ones we have are usually muscle pulls, whether it be hamstring, quads, calf or hip flexors. These tend to be two to four week injuries depending on the severity of the tear. Not stretching before games, um, overworking those muscles, whatever it may be. Uh, those are the most common injuries we see uh, on a year to year basis. Average amount, I guess for if you have a squad of 25 guys, you're almost guaranteed at least three. Uh, some pretty serious injuries. That's them missing time on the field. So lacrosse always has uh, ever-changing regulations as far as pads and equipments and rules go. Just this year alone, lacrosse has kind of added a new regulation with chest protectors for all players. They are now more padded um, on the chest to make sure any injury or hit to the chest doesn't um, affect any type of uh, cardiovascular or any heart injuries uh, to the players. However, there are many serious and season-ending injuries that accompany these. When these players train all day and all night, they could put serious stress on their bodies. Some of these extreme effects are ACL tears, extreme concussions, broken necks, backs, legs, and heat exhaustion. Some of these can even lead to unfortunate deaths. Since 2000, 145 high school football players have died from football-related injuries. On average, two million players are injured every single year. Even though this may be deterring for some, millions of high school athletes remain uninjured. High school sports open valuable opportunities to student athletes after high school. Although many student athletes may face injury, high school sports are still a vital part of high school life.